Hey everybody, Angela here. I just wanted to tell you about our workout called the System Reboot. You're going to be able to find this in the app. It's under Fitness DNA System Reboot. This is something that you can do as a beginner, right? This is something maybe two to four days a week just to get you started, no equipment needed. It's really simple and it'll really get your blood flowing to get you started. Okay, we're gonna begin by marching in place for about a minute. This is pretty simple, it's just getting you warmed up. Get your knees up as high as possible, get that heart rate going. Next, you're gonna go into jumping jacks. We're gonna do that for about a minute. Make sure your arms are high up in the air above your head and get that heart rate really going. Our third exercise will be a windmill. And with your arms, you're going to touch your opposite foot with your opposite arm. It's pretty simple for about 20 reps. All right, next we're going to go into air squats. Really be careful about your knees going over your toes here. Make sure the weight of your body is in your heels so that you can get a nice 90 degree angle there. Our next exercise is the alternating lunge. You're going to be stepping forward with alternating legs. Again, be careful with your knees, not going past your toes. Make sure you have a nice 90 degree angle here as well. For our Superman exercise, we're going to lay on our stomachs and lift our opposite leg with our opposite arm. That gives the alternating workout through your lower back, which is really crucial for your core. Next up, we have the push-ups done on a table. This is just an easier version of a push-up because you're in a beginning state. If you could do regular push-ups on the floor, by all means, go ahead and do that. For our reverse arm circles, make sure that your arms are at a T position. Watch those shoulders, don't shrink them up next to your neck and make sure that your arm circles go in reverse. Our next exercise is the narrow grip push-ups. Now these can be done on the wall or on the floor, wherever you're comfortable. The idea is to get your triceps a good workout here. In our board to mountain exercise, we're really gonna be working our core here. When you're in the plank position, make sure that your eyes are looking out past your hands to keep your back straight. Then press your body into a V shape toward the ceiling. In our lying leg raise, it's essentially a lower ab crunch. So make sure you're bending your knees and bringing them into your chest to get a nice lower core workout here. Next, we move to our crunches. Boy, if you don't know what these are, you're in trouble. It's your everyday crunch where you're lifting with your ab and not your neck. With the back raise, we're going to be on our stomachs and we're going to be lifting just the top portion of our back. Make sure that your arms are tucked into your side and lift with all the back muscles you can. And to end, we're gonna end with a really quick marching in place for about two minutes.